Hello, brothers and sisters. Good morning. Warm greetings from Washington, D.C., the capital of America. Yesterday, it was an incredible experience at the Kennedy Caucus Room, revealing a new level of power and influence that two parents had throughout the world. There are nine United States current senators and congressmen have welcomed the true mother. Especially Senator Hatch did an introduction for true mother and it contained a very profound meaning that was conveyed to everyone. True mother's message was also beautiful and strong just like a diamond. There was many parliamentarians and VIPs everywhere in the world. True Mother's beautiful voice never wavered during her talk, and it made the room be filled with love, joy, and hope for the humanity. I could feel True Father's spirit when True Mother gave a speech. I believe this speech will be seen as one of the most essential speeches ever given on Capitol Hill. I'm excited to wait for it to come out soon so it can be shared with everyone in the world. Thank you and thank you so much our true mother. Dear brothers and sisters, today's true father's Hundok reading is from Chan Sung-kyung book one, The Existence of God. Number nine, human beings are by no means casual beings. We are resultant beings brought about for some reason. There is no way for result to come about without any relationship with its cause. No matter how torturous it causes, the result needed to relate to and fit with the cause. Human beings are the way they are because they resemble some casual being. If we say that this casual being is God, we can draw the conclusion that human beings resemble God. Dear brothers and sisters, the existence of God is subject for debate in human history. People want to know God's existence. Why is it so important for people to prove that God exists? because there are so many mysterious things that surround us. True Father said, if we say that this casual being is God, we can draw the conclusion that human beings resemble God. So in order to know God today, let us examine and serve and love our visible God who resembles our invisible God. And let us feel and see how God responds through examining your brother, sister, and your neighbor who you take care of through your love and care. Brothers and sisters, have a wonderful and blessed day. God bless you. Thank you.